Hello, Taurus viewers. Um, so the last reading I did, I was getting that you guys are at a crossroads. There's some kind of apology coming in from an ex. You're going to get justice. I don't think you're necessarily going to want them back, though. I just feel like maybe they were toxic or they ghosted you. They were just very negative towards you. And I think you just needed that closure. I think you just needed to be able to be the one to tell them no for a change. So you have some kind of apology coming in. Some of you are going to want to take it. Some of you won't. But you're going to be choosing between the old toxic ways, um, you know, falling back into that same pattern. This could be someone that you're on and off again with a lot. Um, you're going to be choosing between that energy and new true love. And the new love might not have come in yet, but it's kind of like almost a test for the universe. Like, what do you want? Are you committed to what you're asking for? Are you committed to this new love that you're asking for? Um, cause for those of you that the old person's coming back in, it's like, are you going to go back into that pattern or are you going to set yourself free in continuing to change that pattern and attracting a different type of person, like attracting someone that might not be your usual type, you know, cause if you think about it, if you have, um, patterns of going for a toxic or, you know, negative or abusive narcissistic people, it's, it's body language. It's, it's subconscious. Most communication is subconscious. You know, think, think about like, have you ever seen someone with a really good man or a really good woman, male or female, but you're just like, wow, what do they see in that person? Like I'm, I would never be attracted to that person, but it's like, they physically see something different than what you see because of their perception, because of body language, because of their subconscious patterns it can actually make the things around you look physically different. Think about it. Like why are there certain colors or certain things that are visually appealing to others, but not to you and vice versa. And it's, it's subconscious. So, you know, you have the choice you've, you've been working and, and, you know, ending those patterns and attracting, you know, being attracted to, and also attracting, different types of people finally. And it's still a process. Like you're still on your way to doing that. You know what I mean? Like you're still, um, you know, going through that energy. I see you guys in this transition where you're not like a hundred percent there yet, but you're definitely, if you look back to where you were a year ago, like you're way further along than you were before. Like it's still a process, but you're, you're consistently doing better and better. And if you look back, like you're going to notice, cause some of you are like, where's the change? Where's the change? Well, like Think about how much stuff you had to work through. Think about how much darkness and how many patterns you had to sort, you've had to sort through and, and, you know, pull yourself out of, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're way further along than you were before. Like, think about it like that. Like you didn't have a fair starting point. You weren't starting at this neutral point. Like some people are, you know what I mean? Like you had to work really hard just to get to a, to finally get out of the, um, it's like you were like in the negative. Does that make sense? It's like you had to like you were in this like pit and you had to work really hard just to get yourself to a neutral like ground level point. And you're at that point now and you're, you've extended, you know, you're you're coming past that. But but again, it's a process, but you're doing really well. Um, you've come a long way. And, and yeah, you're going to be choosing. Do you want to fall back into that pit to those old patterns or do you want to keep working towards, you know, having something that you're not familiar with? So I'm going to start out with Bibliomancy just really quick, and then I'm going to get into the Oracle card reading. I swear, I feel some inner, weird energy around you guys right now, too. I don't know what it is. It's like a psychic energy, maybe, like maybe like your third eye is opening or something. I felt something strange with this group, but we'll see what the cards say. Okay, so, so first message. God knows that I could hate you right now for having me fall like never before, for making me desire you the way that I desire my next very breath, and worse, for leaving me to find my own way out of this purgatory hell, otherwise known as life without you. And yet still with all the pain that has taken residence inside me, there is always room left for these three words, I love you. So it feels like someone coming back around that is... I feel like they're hurting without you, but it's like they're the cause of their own pain. Like they did this. It's not your fault. You know what I mean? Then we have, they would have been enough for me before knowing you, before learning that there is more substance to be found in love. And now in knowing this, I would spend 90 years alone if it meant spending my very last with you. 
It just feels like I just get the energy of someone that like did this to themselves, but they're they're feeling like they're the victim, but they're the ones that hurt you. But but yeah, I feel like that person's gonna come back around, and you're gonna have that opportunity for closure, um, or you can go back into it. But it's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna go well if you go back to that energy. I think it's gonna end again the same way it's ended in the past. Unfortunately. Well, let's see what the story is here. Where are we at with this energy? Fast moving energy, chaos, toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, power struggle. Yeah, you got some chaotic energy here. So we've got chaser, chasey, power struggle, and we got the red flags here. We got the sudden turn of events, almost like a tower card here. Love offer, commitment. Spying. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. Pause, reflection, rest. Third party distraction, karmic partner. New love. Yeah, you're choosing between a karmic relationship and a new love, which is a soulmate or a twin flame. Because this ex is a karmic. That's what I'm feeling from this. So can you guys tell me, have you met the new person yet? Because I'm curious where you guys are at with this storyline. Like, what, what part of this are you at? Have you guys met this new person yet? Um, also, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, my email is below in the description box, right below this video. And any donations are appreciated too. My donation links are below. And please subscribe if it resonates. Okay, so fast moving energy chaos. You know, I almost feel like so this this toxic ex that wants to come back around for another chance, like the universe is giving you this opportunity to have closure with them. To be able to, it's almost like a pride thing, like for you to be able to be the one to tell them no for a change, for you to be able to reject them for a change, for them, you know what I mean? Just to have that justice, I feel. But I feel like they're going to come in so quick that some of you are going to ignore this energy in between, which is, you know, power struggles, being on and off again, being in and out, hot and cold, ghosting, uh, chaser, chasey, you know. Uh, ego, pride getting in the way between you guys, uh, red flags, hidden motives, toxic energy, addictions possibly, like devil energy here. And I almost feel like this is like in the middle, but it's like this person comes in so quickly that you might just like be so um, taken back with this rose that they're offering you that you might just ignore this. This could be someone that comes in and like asks you to marry them after a period of not talking to you for a while. Like they messed up and they know that they need to, cause I just see this as them like offering you something with this rose here. It's almost like someone that messed up so badly that they know that they're going to need to really do something overboard to be able to pull you back in. If that makes sense. And your spirit guides are basically telling you, don't get so caught up looking, you know, for, with this rose, don't get caught in those, romantic feelings to the extent that you ignore this energy in the middle that's being hidden does that make sense it's like it's like they come back and say you know what I do actually want to date you I do want to be with you I know I said I wasn't ready or I know I said I didn't want to or whatever but you know what I thought about it I do want to date you or um maybe this is someone that you're going to marry and they got scared and they ran and they're like you know what actually I do want to marry you I just needed some time alone to think and it's like you might get so caught up with that rose, that this commitment, this this next step, this love offer that you wanted with this person for so long that, you know, it's like don't get lost in that energy. Don't be like, oh, my gosh, they're finally doing it. They're finally offering me this, this you know, engagement ring or they're finally um, willing to move in together or they're finally willing to make me their girlfriend or make me their boyfriend. It's like don't get so lost in that commitment that you end up ignoring the, the red flags and the hidden motives and the, the fact that it's a power struggle and that it's, you know, it's, there's a lot of toxic energy with them. It's like be mindful. Don't, don't 
don't be too quick to rush into things. You really need to look at everything and you really need to be honest with yourself and consider how it's been in the past instead of just getting caught in the moment. So when you get this proposal or, or love offer, whatever it is, really think about things, sit down and think about things first. Because you do also have a, a new love that's either just come in or they're coming in. This could be someone that's spying on your social media, like they're maybe watching you, or this could be a friend and they're not sure if you have the same feelings for them that they do for you. Um, I just get the sense of you being watched. Now, this is either asked like telepathically, like they're aware of your energy in the higher realms and your spirit guides and theirs are planning on how to get you guys to come together, but they want to make sure this energy with this X is cleared up before they bring them in. Um, or this is someone that's actually like physically watching you. Like they see you out in public or like maybe like a neighbor or someone at the store that you go to or a cafe you go to, or uh, it could be someone like on Facebook or on like on your social media. That's kind of checking out your posts, watching you, seeing what you're all about. Um, someone's spying on you and they're wanting to choose love over fear risk reward bold gesture choosing love over fear so you're going to need to pause and reflect and rest and you know choose what path do you want to go down we've got third party karmic partner um or a new love fading encounter look at the look at the person look at them too they're not even like like don't get me wrong it's like a sexy energy i guess but like they're not even looking at each other he's like focused on someone else or he's focused on something else and she's kind of just like Huh? Like she just, she just focused on something else too. Look at them though. Look at them. They're like completely all about each other. Like just nothing else around them. They're just, they're so in love with each other. You can tell. So it's like, you're choosing between these two people. Which one do you want? And like I said, not all of you have met this person yet. Some of you, they're coming in, but you have to clear this energy up and do maybe cut and clear work on your ex before this new love can come in for some of you. And it could also just be like the energy, like your person might be watching you and might not know if you're single, they might not know if you're into them. So there might be like this hesitancy, especially if your energy has been kind of drawn towards the ex, if that makes sense. Okay, and like I said, if this is your story and you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box. Uh, any donations are appreciated and please subscribe. Okay, what other messages do we have here? Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other, anger, miscommunication. Yeah, it almost feels like they're trying to like, yeah, look at this like seductive kind of energy. And you might have a soul contract with the ex too that you might even need to like free yourself from. It just feels like they're like seducing you, like they're pulling you back in, like wanting to start over. But then there's like this underlying anger and this miscommunication, like the same issues are still there. But that's why there's like a warning, like don't get so caught up with the love offer that you forget what it's really like when you guys are together. Like don't romanticize it, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So don't romanticize this connection just because they're not with you anymore. Like really be honest with yourself about what they're about, what, what the relationship was about when you guys were, were together or when you guys were interacting with each other. Um... Because there's some kind of like anger, some kind of dark, toxic, underlying energy that they're trying to hide from you when they come back around. They're going to try to pretend like they're all better. And you're going to your intuition is going to be screaming at you to, to pause and think about this before you make any hasty decisions. Yeah, kind of be guarded. Don't be so trusting. Be guarded. Be careful with your vulnerability. You can be vulnerable, but be vulnerable with the right people. You know what I mean? Like, don't give that up just to anybody. You know what I mean? There's a lot of psychic vampires out there that will just try to dominate you and control you. And you need to be, you can be vulnerable. You can be yourself, but you have to choose wisely who you give that energy to. Your energy is precious. Okay, any final messages here? Make your move, green light, overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage, mental instability. Hmm. Seems like someone's wanting to make a move, but they're like afraid and their anxieties are getting the best of them. But they feel at home with you. This could be the new person. It could be like they're just not sure how you're feeling, you know? 
waiting, hoping, praying. Yes, someone's praying for you. Someone's trying to manifest this connection. It feels like the new person. Whether they know you yet or not, some of them have not met you and they're just praying for a connection like the one you guys would have. Like they're praying for someone like you. Um, others, it's like they do know you, but they don't know how to interact with you or they don't know if you're interested. Feels like a hidden truth is coming out, though, that there's mutual feelings here with someone that you might be surprised. This could be someone you're friends with or someone that's been on your social media. It does feel like there's like a hidden truth coming out. But um, yeah, if this is your reading and you, you want me to go in depth, just send me an email. Thank you guys for watching.